One defense official is telling CNN tonight that, quote, everyone is shocked by Donald Trump's choice to run the Pentagon. In his first term, remember, Trump went with four-star general James Mattis and then Army Secretary Mark Esper. This time around, as he prepares for his second, he has now tapped an Army veteran with two bronze stars turned outspoken Fox News host. His name is Pete Hegseth. And he has said previously that he does not believe women should serve in combat. And he's also been quite clear about the changes he'd like to see at the top of the Pentagon. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. It uh, hasn't made us more effective, hasn't made us more lethal, has made fighting more complicated. Well, first of all, you got to fire, um, you know, you got to fire the chairman of Joint Chiefs and you got to fire this. I mean, obviously, you're going to bring in a new secretary of defense, but any general that was involved, general, admiral, whatever that was involved in any of the DEI woke shit, it's got to go. And my inside source tonight is the Democratic Senator of Illinois who sits on the Armed Services Committee, Senator Tammy Duckworth. And, Senator, it's great to have you here. But because you sit on that committee, you'll likely get the chance to, to question Pete Hegseth. I, I say likely because if Trump is, you know, doing recess appointments, he could just appoint him unilaterally. But, but if you do get the chance to question him, what do you plan on asking him? Well, I, look, he's not qualified to serve as Secretary of Defense. Um, uh, and obviously, he's made these comments about how he doesn't think women should be in combat and that he wants to, you know, be able to fire the uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'd ask him, you know, how, how does that strengthen our nation's military? Uh, we can't go to war today without our women uh, uh, military members, and yet, you know, he wants to gut the military at a time when we have a significant recruiting crisis. Um, again, I mean, it's, it's, it's beyond ridiculous that he's being nominated. And there are millions of women who have served in the U.S. military, as you know, as someone who has not only served, but you're also someone whose helicopter was hit by an RPG. You lost your legs and partial use of your right arm because of it. Uh, what was, what did go through your mind as a woman who has served when you heard him saying that women should not be in combat roles? Well, I, that he has com he's shown that uh, his absolutely, absolute lack of experience and his lack of uh, suitability for the job, because anybody uh, that truly knows the military knows that we cannot go to war without over 225,000 women who are serving on active duty right now. Our military cannot go to war without our female service members. Uh, you know, this is not the Revolutionary War where there's a, some sort of a line in the sand and, you know, combat is on one side and, and the rest of us can stay behind this line and that's not combat. Uh, I would ask him, you know, where do you think I lost my legs? Uh, in a bar fight? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was in combat when that happened. Um, and, and, you know, it just shows how out of touch he is with the nature of modern warfare. If he thinks that we can keep women behind some sort of imaginary line, uh, um, which is not the way uh, warfare is, uh, is, you know, today. And you mentioned what he said about the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, that's General C.Q. Brown. At points, he has implied that he was only hired to, to that role because that he was only uh, given and nominated to that position because he is black. I should note that, that General Brown is an Air Force fighter pilot who has 130 combat flying hours, 40 years uh, of service. Do you think he'd actually be able to, to get him fired? I mean, what would, what would it look like at the Pentagon, do you think, if Pete Hegseth is confirmed as the secretary? Oh, I think that the morale would plummet. I think you would see a mass exodus of professional military officers. Um, and I think that we would face a hollowing out of our military. Um, it is absolutely alarming what would happen if you have somebody like that uh, appointed as Secretary of Defense. Um, and again, you know, General Brown is more than well qualified to serve. Uh, and frankly, um, it is astonishing that, you know, you've got Donald Trump, uh, a guy who is a five-time draft dodger, I call him Cadet Bonespurs, would nominate someone so wholly unqualified for the job. Oh, speaking of nominations that, that we've gotten, you know, a flurry of them today. And it was more than a decade ago, you and Tulsi Gabbard came to Congress together, both female Iraq war veterans. You sponsored legislation together. You appeared together, pushing initiatives on CNN at times. Uh, when you see that she has been nominated as the director of national intelligence, would you vote yes on that? No, because she's not qualified. Um, she is yet another person along the line. I mean, just within the last 24 hours, a number of unqualified individuals that Donald Trump has nominated to very important positions in our government is astonishing. Uh, she does not have that national intelligence experience. She was a medical records clerk uh, in Iraq as an E4. That's below the rank of sergeant. Um, uh, she uh, does not have that uh, 
uh, military, that intelligence experience, so I'm not quite sure how she's qualified to be the director of national intelligence. Uh, she's, you know, a, a very nice person and, and obviously uh, has a, a position herself very close to Donald Trump, but perhaps that is what you need to do in order to get a nomination in this future administration. Well, I mean, you're arguing you don't think Pete Hegseth is qualified for, for DOD. You don't think Tulsi Gabbard is qualified for the director of national intelligence. He also announced that he is uh, going to nominate Florida Congressman Matt Gates as his attorney general. Do you believe that he is qualified for that position? So you're talking about someone who is under invest who was under investigation for child sex trafficking, whose best friend is in jail? for sexual crimes. Uh, so now we have a commander in chief who's been convicted of harassing uh, a sexual assault victim, uh, uh, nominating somebody who has been investigated uh, for uh, child sex trafficking to be attorney general. Again, this is uh, astonishing how poor these nominations coming from Donald Trump are. What happens if all of these people get confirmed, though? Because one, he's trying to do either recess appointments where Trump would just be able to sidestep the Senate totally here. But if not, I mean, there are 53 Republican senators. So far, I haven't seen any of them say no to, to voting on any of those three candidates that I just mentioned. I mean, what happens if Pete Hegseth is the defense secretary, if Tulsi Gabbard is the director of national intelligence, if Matt Gates is the attorney general? Well, you're going to see uh, a national intelligence apparatus and a, a military and national security uh, a system that will be absolutely gutted. You're going to lose professional officers, professional analysts, analysts. People are going to leave government, um, and you're going to see that Americans will be more vulnerable both here at home and abroad. You're going to see our adversaries taking advantage of this, the uh, communist Chinese government, the uh, terrorist-supporting Iranian regime, uh, the dictator uh, Putin, uh, dictators in North Korea. All of these folks are just rubbing their hands with glee, waiting to take on America. And you will see that we will be less safe as a nation, thanks to Donald Trump. Those are stern warnings uh, from you, Senator Tammy Duckworth. Thank you for your service, and thank you for your time. Thank you.